the, we've talked to you before about the five-year plan. This, this made the rounds on Twitter. We showed you this last week. And this essentially coincides with the full extent, really, of the Islamic conquest, right? These are areas that, different point, and it goes beyond it in some areas, but these are areas that were the, where they believe in the future they could, in fact, have the, the reign of the caliphate. Now, there have been caliphates in the past, by the way, officially speaking. It's not some concept that they've made up. You have the Rashidun, which are the rightly guided ca uh, caliphs who came right after Muhammad. You have the Umayyad dynasty coming out of Damascus. You have the Abbasid dynasty out of, yeah, that's right, Iraq here. Baghdad was the capital of that. And then you had the Fatimids across North Africa. So there were caliphates. The last one we had before this not-so-official one was the Ottoman Empire, in fact. He was the head of the Ummah, the Islamic community. So this is their five-year plan as they tweeted it out. They are doing a lot of propaganda, by the way. Let's look at what another version of this is, by the way, that's been making the rounds. The Daily Mail put this up. You can see here they've essentially taken these same areas. They've added a little bit to it, but they've also given them place names. You've heard us talk before about Al-Qaeda in Maghreb. Bam, the Maghreb. This whole area here, you'll see Nigeria and all of West Africa is included in that as well. A note, a noteworthy that on the last map, Andalus, uh, Andalusia, there actually was a caliphate of Cordova there. So this was a Muslim conquest territory for some time. They want it back. They want to go all the way into Eastern Europe, as you see here. Ah, and Khorasan. The black flags they fly are also known as the black banners of Khorasan. And there is an Islamic verse, a hadith, actually, that says that there will be black flags that fly with men uh, holding them up, uh, hoisting them in jihad, and they will end in Jerusalem. And then, of course, the caliphate will go all around it. So there's some prophecy at work here as well. The Hijaz, you can see, they've named it, but still, that's what the caliphate is supposed to look like. Now, Buck, Buck, here's my question. You've got that map that you just showed with all of that black, and then you go back to that first map you showed, those thin little red lines of control that ISIS or the Islamic State has. There's not, not that many guys in the Islamic State. How, I mean, is this really a, a reality that they are, or they, this is just a pipe dream for these guys? It seems like it's, of course, incredibly <laughs> unrealistic. But there are two things I would say about that. One is that this is motivating these jihadis, and there are enough people who believe in this, whether it's 7, 15, 20, 30,000, those are the kind of numbers we're talking about. Right now, I think they estimate about 10,000 ISIS actual fighters on the ground. But there are enough who believe in it that they can create a tremendous amount of problems in the region, certainly for Iraq and cross-border. On top of that, though, you have sort of the jihadist mythology around the, the origins of Islam, Muhammad leading a small band of followers to conquer the entirety of the Arabian Peninsula. And then within a few centuries after that, you see the map continues to expand and expand. It started very small. I know it's grandiose and crazy for us, and it is, but that is how they think of this current conquest. Well, you almost look at it.